Personally, I use ChatGPT for work, not only because it enhances my working ability, but also it's a source of inspiration so that I can have a better starting point to see what are the suggestions. And for me, I can use my own opinion to optimize it. For fashion, AI is definitely a buzzword throughout the industry. Now, many brands are using AI, for example, AI stunt, AI optimized shopping experience, or even AI powered design to try out what AI can bring to the industry. So this is an episode about AI and fashion industry. Hi everyone, welcome to Fashion Brief. So before I started to share my observation of AI to the fashion industry, I'd like to have a little bit recap for the past two years, what has happened in the fashion industry. I'm not sure whether you still remember the buzzword wasn't AI, but metaverse and virtual reality. Namely, fashion or luxury brands are using virtual reality to optimize the shopping experience and also invested in a lot of money in different metaverse platforms in order to experience, in order to collect their trial and error and then to make up their business model in the metaverse. And also, even there is a metaverse fashion week took place. Of course, it's definitely a new territory for fashion brands. So learning by doing is the only thing that brands who are willing to tap into this territory to accumulate their experience. And in 2023, in my point of view, I think AI, this topic has taken over metaverse, becomes one of the most hot topic in fashion industry. It doesn't mean that um, fashion brands are no longer investing their money in the metaverse. They're, doing, they're still doing this, but also they have another budget for AI and I believe they would put much more budget in comparison to Metaverse. I think one of the reasons why is because AI generated content is closer to reality and which inspires the consumers. For example, what we saw um, the pictures of um, Pope wearing the white down jacket or even the AI generated um, sort of fake content that Trump get um, arrested, these pictures, these content makes us feel that, okay, so what is real and what is fake? And which creates in some extent, some inspiration, some aspiration for the fashion industry. So talking about AI content, I believe most of you guys saw the Jack Mew Bambino bag as if it's a bus rambling around the street of Paris. At this first moment, I thought that it was real. And also so many people told me because I was in Paris in May, they told me I need to go and then see what is going on. It should be very cool. And then in the end, I did some research, it is actually not real. It is actually made by a artist via 3D technology and he utilized a bambino um, shape of bag on the tram or bus and to generate this amazing real story. And Jack Mew actually did a part two of this AI stunt on Instagram leveraging its bag as a sailing boat on the sea. And also for Balenciaga, there is a mashup between Harry Potter and the brand. And um, now all references shows that this video is driving more traffic to the official channel. And viral stunts have become more frequent in the recent seasons, resulting in moments such as Sam Smith at the Brit Awards in inflatable Harry pants or the celebrities at Scaparelli wearing its trophy-like fake animal heads. Designers use them to generate buzz by playing into social media's algorithm term. And there's incentive for brands to now use AI for the job. I think we should definitely consider these things not only um, as a birth of technology, but also it's also an art piece. 
because in the end, AI may become a tool like any other and also defined by the skill who is using it. And also in January 2021, OpenAI already introduced DAL-E and one year later, the new system Dal E2 generates more realistic and accurate images with four times greater resolution. So plenty of brands are also leveraging different AI tools to generate images. For example, the Parisian brand Casablanca, the newest season, the newest collection, they use AI generated image to present their collections. The designer and the team mentioned that people might think this kind of AI generated image are easy and you just need to click enter and the image came out, but actually it's not the case. He mentioned that the work also involved 10 people contributing their ideas and feedback, including a set designer, lighting person, stylist and more. And in the end, the AI generated image still needs to be edited and into a more realistic part of the collection. So basically we can understand AI generated image as this. The AI generated the first scratch and then for the designers or for the conceptor, they still need to adjust into the image and also the concept they have, they want. And just as I've mentioned at the very beginning, there's this metaverse fashion show. For now, we have AI fashion show. It's like a competition for different artists leveraging AI tools. Not necessarily you have to be a fashion designer, but you just need to leverage this tool and then to picture the clothes that you want and to edit the AI images, the design. And just like a real fashion week, some collections were better than others. There were ideas that seemed well executed, but not especially new. And on the other hand, where the clothes leaned too far into the fantasies AI is capable of producing, it could took more like costume than fashion that real customers will want to buy and wear. Also, another topic, manufacturing the clothes AI is able to generate may be one of the biggest challenge produced by the technology. Because historically, designers have sketched ideas, produced samples, and then showed them to the public. AI Fashion Week flips that sequence so the audience sees a look finished and styled on the model first. Then someone needs to figure out how to actually make it, running the risk of the final garment falling short of the, the original concept. So for some fashion critiques, after seeing those AI generated design, for example, they think the knitted wear can be utilized in the future when it comes to AI, because it did a great job of designing, of weaving into different ideas. But for, while for some, they still need to figure out how to implement the design in reality. In recent months, businesses like Shopify, Macari, or KNXT, this is actually an online shop operating by Caring, have uh, debuted the ChatGPT powered shopping assistance. And also Zalando plans to release its own soon. So now we can see a lot of fashion e-commerce platforms are tapping into the AI territory to try out the AI generated shopping assistant. However, because it's a new territory, the editor of Vistas of Fashion made a test to these AI generated assistant to see whether they can really accurately provide the um, suggestions for the, to the consumers. And the answer is, there is still a lot of room for AI assistant to get to the point that consumers can get the thing that they really pictures. Because in my point of view, while we are using ChatGPT, in order to get the perfect answer, we actually need to give scenarios for ChatGPT in order to let the machine know that in what kind of occasion, in what kind of feelings, and what kind of um, body shape, preferences, in order to let it have a better analysis of 
what we are actually thinking about. And also, as I've mentioned, just as the example of Metaverse, one of the reasons why for, um, for the brands to getting up early is because um, they want to collect more feedback so that they can learn by trial and error. It's of course a new territory for the brands and for the whole technology setup. But what I can say is that when times go spy, the AI shopping assistant can be powerful in order to help consumers to find the right object they need. Well, in general, I think AI has a positive influence in the fashion industry because it provides a lot of inspirations for the designer, for the brands, and also it can optimize various experience in the, throughout the customer journey. However, there are still a lot of people saying that AI is gonna replace the designers, it's gonna take over a lot of jobs. But in my point of view, I don't think that AI will take over the job of designer, but to be a powerful support tool for the designer in order to let them have their source of inspiration. Because as I've mentioned before, for those brands who use the AI tools, they still need to invest in a lot of time to edit and to retap the images in order to make the collection, to make the design or to make the image exactly what they've pictured. So this is the episode of my observation of AI and the fashion industry. I believe in the future I would do part two, part three of about this topic because AI always surprises with different ideas. And now I'm very curious about what you think about the AI to the fashion industry or even to our daily lives. Please leave a comment below and stay tuned to my channel.